Hello, my name's Phil and I work for the Consumer Services Department at the Hoselock Head Office in Birmingham. With over 50 years horticultural expertise, we at Hoselock understand the rewards of gardening and want to help you to get the best from your garden. In this video I'm going to explain the basic differences between the three different water timers in the Hoselock range. So the simplest timer in the range is the AC1 timer. This basically gives you some preset watering patterns that you can set into the timer to water your garden while you're on holiday. There are a number of preset choices that you can select from the dial on the front of the timer. And there is also some pre-programmed uh, programs in the timer which you can select that will allow you to water more than once a day. Uh, so there is a list of different programs that you can select in the instruction booklet. Uh, which you can select to use the timer when you're on holiday. The, uh, the main uh, point to note with the AC1 timer is that it'll start to water whenever you program it, so that if you want your watering to start at 8 o'clock in the morning, you have to be there at 8 o'clock and start the programmer and turn the timer on. And then it will repeat the program every 24 hours or however you've set it from that time. So that's the AC1 timer. The next one in the range is the AC Plus. This is very similar in the way it works to the AC1. The main difference with this is you've got more choices uh, of watering patterns to choose from and also you can determine to the nearest hour the hour that you want the watering to start and you can water your garden for up to four times a day. You can also do it every two days, every three days or every seven days if you don't want to water exactly every day. So that's the AC Plus water timer. The, uh, the top of the range in the Hoselot range of water timers is the AC Pro. This comes with a rain sensor which I'll uh, describe to you in a little more detail later on. But basically with the AC Pro you've got total flexibility over when you want the watering to start how long you want it to water for and any other variable parameters that you want to set. There's also the facility to reduce the watering if it's a particularly sunny time of year and you don't want to water your garden quite so, so often. And also you can increase the watering if it's a particularly a time of the year when you want to give more water. The AC Pro comes with the rain sensor and this is a device which you can connect to the, the timer which will suspend the watering if while you're on holiday it's uh, raining quite heavily outside. Obviously you don't want to water your garden and waste water uh, if it's raining so this is quite useful if you're on a water meter. Um, so the AC Pro comes with the rain sensor which is connected to the timer via a cable. The sensor is then m mounted on the top of a fence panel or somewhere in the open where it can get um, rained on if it does rain. So that's the AC Pro timer with the rain sensor, the AC Plus timer and the AC1 timer and that explains the timers in the Hoselock range. That's it, job done.